Hi everyone, my name is Mayo Silvers. I am the owner of M2 Hospitality, an event planning company, and also the founder, event mentor, and coach for events for anyone, where we provide a mentorship program called the Unstoppable Eventrepreneur, where we help event planners start and grow their event planning company into a six-figure profit business. So I get asked all the time, how do I find the balance between my two businesses and my family life and time for myself? I'll be very honest with you. When people tell you that when you become an entrepreneur or when you own your own business, you have a balance in your lifestyle, well, that's actually a myth. It doesn't work like that. There is never going to be a balance between your work and your personal life and the time for yourself when you own your own business, unfortunately. But how do I go about doing my things and my business and my personal life so that I feel the balance in my personal life and also at work? Again, balance lifestyle is very subjective. A balanced lifestyle for you may not be a balanced lifestyle for me. So I'm sharing my experience, how I, as a mom of a small child, who's at this time when I'm making this video is five years old, and also have two active businesses, one event planning company and one event coaching company. How do I balance my time so that I give attention to everything? Okay, first and foremost, you need to understand you can't give attention to everything at one time. So you got to accept the fact that there is no true balance. So once you accept the fact that there is no true balance, that you can be giving the same amount of time or attention to everything and everyone, you will feel much better. So how do I organize myself, my time, my business and my family life so that I achieve the balanced lifestyle for me? So every time I do something, I make sure that I time block for that one thing that I want to do. And when I time block for that one thing I want to do, I give full attention to that one thing. So I'm not thinking about something else. I'll give you one example. If I'm working on my business, if I'm doing a social media content calendar for my business, okay, for both my businesses, I will make sure that I block a time for that. And when I block the time for that, I do not allow any distraction. I do not allow anyone to come into my space when I am working on that one thing. So my attention is 100% over there. Do I think about playing with my daughter or what am I going to do with my family while I'm working on that one thing? No. I need to block out all those thoughts. I will have to tell my daughter, I can't play with you right now because mama is working on this one thing. So after I finished that one thing, right? I gave that time block to finish that one thing. Then I move on to the next thing that I put on my time block. So it could be the time that I'm playing with my daughter or the time that I'm spending with my family. When I'm spending time with her and with my family, I do not think about work at all because I time block for that. So everything in my life deserves a time, okay? Anything important in my life deserves a time. So I block a time for each of those things and I stay very disciplined. I respect the boundaries. People, I expect people to respect my boundaries so that I can completely give my attention to that one thing. So at the end of the day, at the end of the week, I know that I have 100% completed that I have 100% completed that. So it's not that 50% here or 50% there. We have come into this, this reality, you know, people keep telling us we need to multitask, multitask. When you multitask, you can, you're splitting your attention. So you're neither here nor there. I've done multitasking a lot of times. So when I multitask, when I'm trying to work on my business, all right, trying to write my social media content calendar, and then my daughter wants me to play with her, then I'm distracted either way. So I'm distracted when I'm playing with her. I'm distracted when I'm trying to, to write my social media content calendar because I'm thinking about, oh, I need to be playing with her. And then when I'm playing with her, I'm thinking about, oh my God, I need to work on my social media content calendar. So I'm split into two places. And at the end of the day, I didn't achieve much. I don't feel that I have achieved much because I didn't finish my content calendar and I didn't give my daughter the full attention. So that's 
not the way to live life or to live your business life and your personal life. So my tip for you is time block for that one thing that you need to do and be 100% focused on that one thing. Once that's once that thing is done, move on to the next thing. So everything has their own deserved time where they have your deserved attention. So you are able to get to do all the things that you say that you want to do or is important for you to do. I hope this tip helps you because it definitely helped me a lot. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, click on the link below to join my Facebook group where we come on once a week to teach a topic about how to become an unstoppable event entrepreneur. All right, it's a free Facebook group. Click the link below. Join me once a week to learn a new topic on how to become an unstoppable event entrepreneur. And you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I look forward to seeing you in my Facebook group and also become one of my subscribers for my YouTube channel.